Hi, this is Mr. S, and today we're doing lesson two. What do buffaloes eat, and is there more of it for them to eat now? So, as a little review, last class, we set up a driving questions board. So you wrote down all the questions you could think about about why the buffalo's population was growing. If you remember, we looked at a graph, and we saw the buffalo's population was growing steadily and then we investigated various details about the Serengeti so we looked at how diverse the animals were and that's what you wrote for your mastery check um, using the camera traps we saw all the different types of animals and using Google Maps we looked at the diversity of animals in the Serengeti okay and so um, we are Today, you're going to obtain and communicate scientific information from multiple sources to draw conclusions about complex interactions between biotic and abiotic features of the ecosystems and the effects on features of one another. So you're going to be reading a series of um, scientific articles to try to help us answer the questions that we're looking at, um, which were... Um, where is the food? So a lot of the questions that you came up with had to do with, has the buffalo's food changed? So that's what we'll be investigating today. Um, and so now um, I just want you to go ahead and um, take out your uh, student activity sheet that I have available for you. And I want you to go ahead and reflect on um, and kind of think about how we can learn about what the buffalo are eating and what kind of data do we need, okay? So go ahead and, and think about that and also make a prediction. So if the food source is affecting the buffalo population, what do you predict the graph of the food source would look like? So either draw a graph or write out what your prediction would be. Okay, so these are just predictions and um, to get your mind started on what could be happening. Um, so just think about what you already learned about the Serengeti. Um, how does this help us to learn what is happening with the buffalo? Uh, what were you wondering at the end of class? And, um, you know, what kind of questions do you think you could ask to help us figure out the amount of, whether the amount of food is affecting um, the buffalo? So um, science is all about creating questions and thinking about how we're going to um, go into our investigation. So take some time and brainstorm here. Okay, so we're going to break into groups of six, and each of you are going to read a short reading about the buffalo diets. And these are from scientific journals, so they're written by real scientists. And you're each going to add to give each other the information that you need to fill out the student activity sheet here, obtaining information from the readings. These readings are really short, um, so it should it's not going to be a, um, a huge process, but you will want to um, share what you got with your classmates. And if we ha don't have a six students ready to go on this, then you can do, um, each of you can do two or something like that, because they are short. And you're looking for what do the buffalo eat, what are the other organisms' feeding patterns? And what questions do we have as a group? So describe any patterns you notice in the readings um, about the buffaloes, what food they eat, and the other organisms. How is the food different from wet and dry seasons? What questions are you left with um, about the seasonal diets during the season you, in your reading? And what questions do you have from your readings about the other seasonal diets? Okay, so you'll be um, obtaining this information from the readings with your classmates. And when you're done, you can go on to start making sense of the readings. Okay, so um, here, feel free to vocalize any questions about the seasonal diets of the buffalo as you're making sense of the readings. And um, we're going to start discussing our findings. Okay, so we're going to revise our prediction as you read. What do you think about the amount of food is doing over time? So is there more food over time? Is there less food over time based on what you've read? Um, think about all of these things, okay? 
and then we're going to discuss our findings. So what did you observe in the data tables? How are your interpretations of the findings similar or different? Do the findings make sense? So these are the making sense questions that you'll have with your classmates. And um, you can work in the group once everyone has read and shared the information together. And then um, you're going to work on the conclusion. Okay, so the reading did not include any information about the change in amount of food or the amount of precipitation as a giveaway. But think about what do you think could have happened to the amount of food and precipitation from that period to help explain the growth of the buffalo population. So you reflect on these conclusions with your group and move on to the next steps about where we should go from here. And I'm going to check in with you and see, um, discuss what we should do from here. Okay, good luck.